Now, people, it seems as if every day we get up in a Jamaica, we hear say, this place get robbed, this one get caught up, this one lose them life. Every day we hear the relevant authority, justice minister, crime minister, prime minister attacks. Yes, we're getting a hold on crime. However, people, it seems as if they are delusional. It seems as if they are in deep denial. About 24 to 48 hours ago, a next robbery that it is said to have taken place in a St. Elizabeth's. I am going to let you take a listen, take a look to the edited version of this not so beautiful bean footage and then I'll get back. <laughs> Welcome to Crime Time News, where the difference is in the meds. Call it news with a buzz. Now, people, like you see, these gunmen, these robbers, these hitmen, they are out on a rampage. Every day we get up, it's the same, all same. Instead of getting better, it I get worse. It seems as if it is normal occurrence. So, in this video, you could see that this lady was packing up her business taking a chair and table from outside putting inside i guess she was closing up when you look a group of men four or five or six run out like gangsters like some sorts of hyena in the serengeti however these were youths in them 20s or so criminal elements the lowest of the low life them are running them want poker box gaming machine them want liquor them want cash just imagine you get up every day as a bartender, even worse, as a bar owner, business owner. You put in all the hard work and then the day is slow and then you make a little money. You can't even pay your bills. You can't even balance your book. When these pieces of ish running at the place scare the living daylight out of you, these little pieces of filth them a act like them give somebody something for put on. Them want what you not having at the first place. However, they don't want to put in the hard work and dedication. Them just want reap. Now people in a, any sorts of economy, especially in a garrison, especially in a some little bush bush era, that is always going to be bad for business. Because when people see Videos like these on social media, YouTube, or even in the news. Hear about it in a real life. 
they are going to be scared. So therefore, unless they have some sort of bar fly, they are going to want to keep away from this business. So there goes the negative domino effect. Bar owner, shut down business, bartender, lose job. And next couple of people in the unemployment or even the criminal line. People, I told you before in a video that I did on my next channel, True Jamaica Buzz. There's a set or criminal organization operating from out of Clarendon that is run by a man known as Bitter Mr. Graham and his wife, Sham. They are the ones that are pretty much facilitating the F-U-C-K-R-Y. They are the ones that are recruiting all of these criminals that are going out there, aiming for these bars, the poker box, the gaming boxes and people liquor. And I told you that these people have some sorts of protection from the popo because the popo they are fencing these hot stuff, whether it a car parts, whether a liquor, whether any sorts of stolen goods. The car dealership and the car parts place are also the beneficiaries of this crime. People don't like you, they put out hit on you. It is too easy to recruit these criminals in a Jamaica. And it is because when you don't want to walk, you are going to get walk. Our people are going to get F-U-C-K. And as far as I am concerned, the whole of Jamaica pretty much get F-U-C-K right now. Because of the whole bunch of criminal elements, including the poor poor, people that are willing and able to buy these hot stuff from people. And people that are willing and able to take away innocent, hardworking people. As far as I am concerned, Jamaica the back of the back of the dog. Point blank and period. Further on in the news, the people are always complaining to me. Blogger, what? Mm? Nothing positive now there Jamaica we talk about. And I always said, it is called the law of supply and demand. Meaning that people are interested in a couple of topics. They always say to me, we want inspirational videos, but then the truth is that I realize it is the mix-up down in a short video. So therefore, I am kind of left in a dilemma like them girls in another group there, with them name Destiny Child. And me I said to myself, then hold on, which part me go find positivity in a this regular Jamaica, especially with this new generation that is going to interest my viewers. Lo and behold, less than 24 hours ago, I found a video that fits in that criteria. Pretty much it is said that a homeless man found some sorts of baby or they found a homeless man with some sorts of baby. Now people, me no know in a Jamaica, it is hard to differentiate the people that have mental illness, the people who are mad, the people where them say homeless or people that just buck up on some sorts of hard life. However, this video was pretty much touching, so I am going to let you take a little take a look to this very beautiful bean footage and then I'll give my peace. Baby found in the possession of a man with insane mind. He said he found baby in a garbage heap in Spanish town. Put him by YouTube. Tell nobody know him. Yes. Put him by YouTube. Tell nobody know him. Yes. Put him by YouTube. Tell nobody know him. Yes. Put him by YouTube. Tell nobody know him. Yes. Put him by YouTube. Tell nobody know him. Yes. Put him by YouTube. Tell nobody know him. Yes. Put him by YouTube. Tell nobody I like him as somebody that like tosses. He see crab up, crab up, come here. Yeah. 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 He might have some sort of fresh wound upon him and so maybe I grab him, grab the people and baby and run. I don't have no evidence to substantiate that. The good thing is that whoever recovered this baby, found this baby, this baby seems to be in a good health. This baby seems to be a little bit hungry. Other than that, he should be okay. 
Now when you think about stuff like this, how is it that a mother brings a baby for however long, eight months, nine months, whatever the term is, and then she just fling the baby in her some sorts of garbage? Well, actually, this is not a newborn baby. This baby looked like she he was around for a little while, a couple of days, maybe a month or so. I am no baby experts. So me just as said, the mother threw at this picnic. I wonder if these people realize how many women are out there because of whatever reason them can't bring no picnic. Them have a miscarriage. How much mother out there would I like or how much women out there would like to have a child, especially a child that is beautiful like this that don't seem to have any sort of physical deficiency. So me just as say, the baby have pretty face and pretty hair. That means uh, the baby has got hot. The baby is going to be in full demand or high demand because obviously he is no sort of monkey sample. People, me just as say, Jamaica really gone to the dogs and this is a next perfect example. Wherein a mother fling her baby in a some sort of garbage bin, in a some sort of dumpster. Luckily for that child, if I even the madman find him and him take the, the baby from the madman, people, me no know the circumstance, but me just as say, it could have end up way, way worse or even not so better or not so good or good or a way of the word. Tell me because I only have 11 subject, point blank and period. Further on in the news, you know that Jamaica is pretty much probably one of the worst places on planet Earth. As it pertains to the citizens, as it pertains to the poor poor. You and I know that the poor poor and taxi men have been going at it since the beginning of time, and it don't seem as if it is going to stop anytime soon. There is no sort of respect either way, vice versa. It is said that the taxi men in a place called Christiana them plan for protests, and it is this is because them feel as if they've been harassed by the poor poor. Now people, here's my view when it comes to taxi men and minibus men in a Jamaica. I really cannot throw too much sympathy party because they are a set of lawless, reckless speaking in general. Does not apply to everybody who the cab fit make them wear it. So anyways, there's a video that is circulating because of its content. I cannot show it. I can only show the edited version in which some poor poor pull over a taxi man or he pulled over to some sort of place is either him open the back I'm vehicle, one of them one of them um hatchback big vehicle. Don't know if he was selling any sorts of contents or he was picking up at some sort of wholesale. You could see the products in the hatch of the vehicle, the back of the vehicle that is. So the poor poor roll up and say you double park or you in there, you impede the traffic. He must say, no, and I saw it go. Like me say, me no know the start, so therefore I can only speak based on what I am seeing. So pretty much, they might argue and they might tell him, say, me no know if them ask for the registration and, you know, the vehicle documentation or what. However, big argument as usual, when two people with ignorance and arrogance buck up, it is as if two immovable objects. So therefore, they are not going to come to any sort of amicable agreement. It came down to the fact that the poor poor take out the button, the extender button, the ones that they use on people, and then pretty much I try to restrain this man or arrest him. He was pretty much resisting arrest. Like I said, me don't know how it start, me don't know who initiated. Anyways, a whole heap of tussle. Man drop on the ground, poor poor lick him with button, two poor poor try to restrain him and cuff him. The regular thing. However, was, what I find even more disturbing is that while this man was going through his tussle with the poor poor, people were just kindly assisting themselves to taking away the contents of that man's vehicle, whether it was for sale or whether he was buying or just picking up. Me not really know the details. I find it very disturbing that during somebody's time of stress, you think that it is the appropriate time to take advantage of the situation. So this just shows me how cold and heartless the people of Jamaica is. And that is why a lot of us legal law-abiding taxpaying citizens of this great nation 
is worrying that there's going to be some sorts of tsunami, some sorts of earthquake. Because it seems as if there's only have to be something very drastic to kind of make these people rethink how they move, how they meds, and bring some sorts of sanity to this place. Now, if I had selective prayer, when we could have call or talk to the man up above and tell him, say, when you send the earthquake or the tsunami, just make sure, say, at the low life, them dropping out. But the sad thing is that even the good will have to pay for the bad. So, therefore, one bad apple, or well, one billion bad apple is going to spoil the few good that are out there. If you get my point, point blank and period.